fan mission loaders. I'm going to run FM Cell and New Dark Loader, and I'm going to scan through a collection of 1,098 fan missions located on a fast SSD, and I'd like you to just pay attention to how quickly and how thoroughly each of these two loaders, FM Cell and New Dark Loader, perform the scan. And I'm going to empty the disk cache, so we'll be working entirely from the disk, and let's begin with FM Cell. Wow, just a few seconds, that is fast, oh man. But wait, where's all the titles? I see the release dates, most of them, but I mean, it's like it scanned nothing at all. Well, FM Cell only scans info other than release dates from the fm.ini file, or INI if you're not insane. And so you only get data for missions that have that, which is only New Dark missions and then not even close to all of them, so really, it gets it from the file fine if it exists, but this whole back catalog, you get no help at all from FM Cell. Forget about it. Well, let's see New Dark Loader. Let's see how well New Dark Loader scans and how fast it scans. All right, let's try it. And I'm going to clear the disk cache again for fairness, but believe me, it isn't going to make a difference. Now, as you can see, it's already scanned the first FM because it's selected. Well, that should only give it an advantage. So uh, let's see uh, <laughs> how fast and how thoroughly it can go. All right? All right.
Well, I can't see the timer that I will have put on screen at this point in the video, but that was definitely multiple minutes, three, four, five maybe? And that is scanning from an SSD, the collection of all missions. But let's see what data it got. Oh, but first of all, as an aside before that, let's just double check to make sure we are in fact using the fast version of the scan. Yes, okay, good, just, uh, just making sure there. Now, let's see what it got. So it scans the title, it scans the size, and it scans the release date. Well, that's a little bit better than FM Cell. Uh, you know, it gets the title out of all of them at least. Well, sort of. There's a whole bunch at the start here where it really doesn't get the title at all. It's just the archive name. But once you start scrolling down a bit, it starts getting the actual title. So that's a very good improvement right there. Um, although the scrolling is a little strange and laggy. But, uh, oh, never mind, I'm sure that's just a fluke. Well, that's New Dark Loader, scanning all of them. And, uh, now, I would like to direct your attention to, uh, mm, another thing. Right. So, this. I'm going to scan the same collection of 1,098 fan missions, but this time I've copied the collection over to a very old, very slow hard drive, and near the end of the drive even, so it's going to be even slower. Very, very, very bad slow access time, uh, bad random access, old hard drive, mechanical spinning, should be a slog fest here, okay? Gonna scan all of those, and, and, and let's just see how long it takes with this program right here. I'm sure I'm going to have to go away and just, uh, you know, live to old age and die before it'll finish. So, like, uh, who even, who, pff, pff, whatever, whatever, whatever. Let's clear the disk cache again. Scan from the slow hard drive. Same set. Let's go. <laughs> now again, can't see the timer, but from my testing previous, that should be somewhere around 36 to 40 seconds-ish. Uh, if not, then something's very wrong, but even so, that is way faster than New Dark Loader. Let's see what info we have. We have the title, the size, the release date, all of them. We have the version, some of them, this is the least developed part of the thing. We have the game type. Thief or Thief 2, 100% accuracy. It's not like Dark Loader where it can't tell the type if it's New Dark. This can tell the type all the time. We have the author. We have whether New Dark is required. Again, 100% accurate. We have the New Dark minimum required version. Most of them are caught. We have languages, mostly accurate. And we have custom resources, whether it has any of these things. And we even have a tag string if we can find it in the FM.ini. Let's see if we can find a mission with tags here. There we go. So I'm not parsing it at the moment, but that's trivial, but it is returning it, so there you are. And parsing is a memory op, so it's going to be, you know, lightning fast and all that stuff. But, yes, there you have all of this stuff in like 35 to 40 seconds-ish. Cold. Cash cold from a spinning frickin' hard disk. Oh yeah, and just so you can see how accurate this stuff really is. I'm going to scroll all the way down. You got all of your titles here. And uh, you got your authors. Let's just move that over there. Sort of. This control is a bit finicky. Okay. So there's your authors. And you can move all your stuff. Like, let's say, move our game type over here, like Dark Loader. You can do that. And there you are. And you can sort, of course. And uh, what was I doing? Oh, yes. Titles. You can see. There's all your titles. Now, every once in a while, a title is misdetected. Very rare, but sometimes, you see, there's multiple places in a fan mission where the title could be specified. Uh, there's the titles.stir file, there's the readme file, there's the newgame.stir file, and possibly another one I can't quite remember. There's fm.ini and whatever. So, just in case one of these titles is wrong, if it happened to have detected a different title that is different, you get an option to change it. Let me demonstrate. There is a mission called An, let's see, An, I don't have sorting in here yet, but you know, never mind. An old friend. However, this is an old friend. This is not an old friend. This is the Crypt of St. Lucian. So this title is 
put in there wrong. But you can right click, go to titles, which shows you the alternate titles. Here's a crypt of St. Lucian, which it also detected. Bam, right there. No manual typing, nothing. If it detected alternate titles, then uh, you can just do that. Uh, Deceptive Perception 2. DP2 Phantasmagoria. Oh, it's actually Deceptive Perception 2. Bam, no problem. All right, super quick, everything detected. And again, think of how fast that was for all of this info. But think about it. FM Cell scans release date mostly and sometimes title and tags. New Dark Loader scans title, tags, release date, and size, and it doesn't even get all the titles. This one scans all of this stuff, but let's try something else. See this stuff down here? This is what you can scan. Let's just scan the exact same stuff as New Dark Loader. Again, from the slow hard drive, empty the cache, and now we see how fast it is. <laughs> Well, hopefully that's faster. <laughs> My calculations peg it at probably should be like around 30 seconds maybe or something. So that's uh, quite a bit faster. And we're getting, you know, we're still getting all of the titles. We're still getting the size. We're still getting the release dates, but nothing else. And it's faster. But just as a final thing, let us scan from the SSD instead of from the slow hard drive. Here's the SSD folder. And let's see just what kind of speed we can get uh, when we do this. There's no sensitive info here, don't worry. Um, you know, uh, filthy uh, erotica collection. Eortica even, that's even worse. So uh, yeah, there's nothing there. Um, now after that really awkward and unnecessary interlude that doesn't fit the tone at all, let's... <laughs> Maybe I will have cut it. Let us once again cache cold, scan the collection with only the stuff New Dark gets so that we can compare, let's see what speed we get. there you have it. That is the comparison. No freaking contest. But let me show you a couple of other things that I've got going on here. Let's re-scan these things uh, right here. la di da doesn't even matter. It just takes no time at all. Cash is, well, it's probably not warm anymore, but whatever. Well, maybe it is. Yeah. Okay. So there you are. All of your stuff. Now, New Dark Loader allows you to, of course, sort, and you can your sort gets saved, of course, and it also allows you to drag your headers, but New Dark Loader does not actually save the position of your headers. So if you happen to want your archive to, instead of being over here, if you want your title to be over there, well, you can do that, but it won't save it. Well, this program saves it. You can move your title in everywhere to crazy places, release date there, you close it, you open it again, bam, saved. All right, and you can even hide and show all these different things. Now, this is probably a lot more than should really be here. It's just for demonstration purposes. I mean, you probably don't need most of this stuff for an actual FM loader, but you can hide the stuff. And if you've hidden absolutely everything, you know, you've just been like... Hurp, 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 hurp. You can just go uh, reset all columns to visible. You can reset the widths. You can reset the positions. Uh, these are not necessarily great default widths. I haven't really messed them about that much. But uh, you can see there's right-click menu. There's your titles, install, and play. If you click play, then uh, it'll just install it and then play it just like that. No problem. And you can just uninstall it. No problem whatsoever. And you notice this little checkbox here. Now, I don't know if anyone else has had this problem. It might just be my setup. But if you're using OpenAL um, for your audio so you can get EAX or whatever, if there are 24-bit waves, or maybe 32, I don't know, maybe if they're just higher than 16, uh, they won't play right. They'll just be static 
in the game. Now, you may remember that I had some problems with this, and I had to go manually convert them. Now, again, I don't know if this is just that I have an old version of OpenAL. I tried to get a new version, but the site is down, so I don't know if that's a problem or not or what, but it's a problem for me. So I have this option. When you go to install here, I'll show you. When you go to install mission, here's the original Endless Rain. If you don't check this, we go to play, install it, and play. Hear that horrid static there, right? That's because of the 24 bit waves. So, you uninstall, you click that, and uh, play it again. That's the wrong button. End the sermon. Perfect, beautiful rain sound. And, uh, you know, if I happen to come across any kind of problem that might happen with missions, I'll. You know, figure out maybe try to make some sort of option to auto solve it if possible, because I like automation. I'm rather into it, don't you know? So uh, that's another thing you can do. And uh, oh, what else? Well, you know, I haven't implemented some of this stuff yet. It's still kind of early stages, but uh, what's here is cool. I don't know. You know, you got your readmes. I haven't really cached these, so it's pulling from zips, but still, it's, you know, not too terribly bad. But uh, everything is mostly pretty fast. And uh, I really hope that I didn't uh, leave out anything, because that would be funny. But uh, this is the kind of thing I'm working on. It's not quite fit for public use yet, but it, you know, I've been using it to play stuff, and it does, it does work at a basic level. You can't choose the README yet or whatever, but uh, if you just want to play, it does sort of function at the current level. But, you know, it's not released yet, because, like, <laughs> yeah, anyways, uh, that's... That's Angel Loader, tentatively titled. I could also call it Fen is Great Loader or something. Uh, you know, who knows? But, uh, <laughs> hey.